Dude, he is running for it. He is ha there's dude, that has gotta be like a freaking 20 pounder. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh, go. Dude, that is a football. <laughs> what is going on folks? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today we are here with the subscriber, actually Devin, he's over there rigging up and we actually have this juicy little spot he's taking me to, which apparently has a ton of big bass in it. So we're about to get started today, folks. What we are gonna be fishing with today, guys, is actually the mystery tackle box. You guys know mystery tackle box, and if you do not, basically it is a monthly subscription service where you get a tackle box with surprise baits in it every single month. I have no clue what's going to come inside, but it is a great deal, even a better deal if you guys use code NORM to get your first mystery tackle box for as cheap as $5. So I'm going to set you folks down right here, and we are going to go ahead and do a little unboxing here before we go out on the water, see what types of lures we have for fishing today. So here's a little sneak peek in the box here, guys. Uh, right off the bat, I do see a square bill in this box. The square bill is a great fishing lure for the fall time. This one is actually a shad pattern, which is absolutely perfect. I've no is there shad in here, Devin? There is shad in here. So this might be a key player today. Square bill, one of my favorite baits to throw this time of year. And for these boxes, they actually choose out lures for the time of year that you're fishing. So that makes sense that a uh, shad square bill's in here. I also see another square bill. This one dives four to eight foot. Don't know if we'll be using this one in the pond today. It might be a little bit too deep of a diver, but this would be great for lake fishing right here, guys. I love that color right there. So there's another square bill. One diving zero to one foot, one diving four to eight foot. That way I can kind of cover everything I need to. Next up, we have the big bite baits, little paddle tail swim baits right here. These would be great for a trailer, like on a chatter bait or a jig, something like that. I don't know. We might have to do that. I don't know what the deal is with this lip on the front right here. I've never thrown a frog like this but I don't know, that could actually probably slay, and they've already trimmed the skirt and everything on this, so I actually really like that. All right, so what we have left in here, guys, is obviously the sticker. I love getting the stickers. And we have the Z-Man Cross, might be a player today, and also the Lunker City. These would be great, like, oh my gosh. Uh-oh, but we have these. These would be great probably on a drop shot, something like that, but I do not have anything to throw that with today. And then we also have two hooks here, which I'm assuming are for those paddle tail swim baits in the four-aught size. Okay, Devin, I'm gonna let you pick out uh, one lure out of the mystery tackle box here. Ooh. I got my eyes on these crawls right here. I think this is gonna be the juice today, guys. Ooh, okay. All right, I'll let you throw the crawls, which means I get to choose from uh, whatever is left in here, but I think we got some good options. You got, oh, don't worry, I'll catch them. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I know why, do you see that swirl right there? Oh, I got him, I got him. <laughs> dude, he came up and hit this, oh, dude, he's fighting super hard, that's crazy, bro. Oh my, oh, he's just barely got the hook in him. Oh, come here. <laughs> Check out that bass, guys. That's a solid one right there, dude. That's probably, that's like two, like, in some change right there. Came up and hit that square bill topwater. I was reeling it, he bit, and then I stopped it, and he came up top and just absolutely munched it. Super cool fight. We're going to go ahead and let him go. See you, buddy. There we go, guys. That is our first fish right there. And I'm actually digging the square bill right here, especially for pond fishing, because it only dives like zero to one foot. And I just love the way this thing looks in the water. Kind of has like a wide wobble, makes a lot of noise. And it is really windy out here. The water is kind of dirty out here too. So I feel like that definitely helps. I don't know, folks, this may be my new favorite lure. Might be a little bit early to say that because we've only caught one fish on it. But so far, I'm liking the way this thing moves in the water. I'm casting over Tevin here trying to get another fish. Dude, I'll tell you that he came up and like this thing floats when you don't reel it. So it floated all the way to the top and he just came up and slapped it. Leave it to Norm to get distracted from fishing. I see a little drainage pipe right here. And uh, okay, there's no water in it. Never mind. I was about to try to pull off a cool little clip there, but there's, <laughs> there's no water. Imagine me catching a tank out of there. So we're walking to a spot right now, guys, where the water's coming in. We've had a lot of rain the past few days, so it should be saucy. And is it too early to say that this is my new favorite lure? Maybe so. Maybe we're in the honeymoon phase here, but I'm actually really digging the way this thing moves in the water i think it'll be a pond slayer especially this fall it might be too early to speak because we've only caught one fish on it so far but so far i'm digging it i'm liking the looks of this spot right here i don't know all right choose what i'm gonna throw is it the square bill or the chatterbait in the spot Chatter. chatterbait all right you're making me put down my new favorite bait is he big nah. they just fight super hard in here i guess mine was fighting like a darn 10 pounder is he decent yeah I'm jumping down. 
Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, dude. You pulled a norm. Are you kidding me? Oh, right at the bank. That was a good one, bro. Devin, I'm trust. Oh my gosh. I'm trusting you with this uh, chatterbait decision, man. I'm not liking the frog. Oh my gosh. Oh, he, dude, he, he, I have not been nailed like that. Oh my God. He bit the tail off. Did you see that? Yep. Dude, throw that thing right there. I was just messing around. Sometimes when I'm fishing, I forget I'm like trying to catch fish. I just start yanking it because I get bored and that one just was not a fan. All right, guys, we're going to crack open uh, another one of these. I left the pack open. They spilled everywhere. Nice, Norm. Nice. Devin told me to throw the chatterbait and uh, second cast with it got absolutely annihilated. So that was pretty fun. We bite the head off of this paddle tail here just to make it a little bit of a smaller profile. I don't like when the trailer is too long and they might bite onto the tail but not get the hook in their mouth. Basically with these chatterbaits, guys, you want to get the rigging done on the first try because there's actually hook keepers here on the chatterbait. And these trailers will stay on forever if you can get it right the first time. But as soon as you try, you know, rigging your lure a few times, it'll rip up the inside. And then that trailer will start slipping a little bit. So I'm trying to make this a perfect rig here if we can. Beautiful. And that's what your chatterbait should look like right there. Oh. Got him on the chatterbait. <laughs> Dude, it literally landed and I hopped it once and he was already on it. That was crazy. All right. <laughs> oh my, dude, like three bass right there. Cast it like, like cast your worm. That, there was like a bass like three times the size of this one, like followed him up. I'm not even kidding. Oh my, and the paddle tail came off again, bro. Dude, that was a big one that came up and yeah, followed him up. Him. Oh, he was massive. Oh my gosh. How, how come I hook this one on the chatterbait? That makes no sense. Technically, it's more difficult to catch smaller bass because they have smaller mouths. So there it took it takes more skill to catch <laughs> this one than the big ones, guys. <laughs> Look at it like that. Most talented bass fisherman out there. And we got to go get another paddle tail. The tail came off. I like the action on these paddle tails. It's just, from what I can tell, I've all, this is my first time fishing with them. It just seems that they break way too easy. Ooh. You, oh, yeah, I thought he came off. You still got him? I just missed him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm going to get the big camera. Oh, it's all the way over there. Never mind. It's in the tunnel because it's raining. I, put, I had to hide the big camera, guys, so it didn't get wet. It's raining out here. That is a good bass, though. You throwing the worm right now? Yeah, throwing the Texas rig. Ooh, the Texas rig getting it done. They're stacked out here on this point. Oh, yeah. They fight out yeah, they there. fight out here like no other. Heck yeah, bro. Oh. That's what we like to see right there. The speed worm, watermelon red. A classic, an all-time favorite. So guys, we're throwing the bluegill color jackhammer here. I think this is like the best color to match these trailers. So this is a perfect representation of a bluegill. Normally when I throw a darker color chatterbaits, I like to go with that craw trailer. But this trailer right here actually looks super good in the water. It stands straight up. I actually got to show you this. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He missed it. He missed it. Oh, he's, he's on it. I do have a bird's nest in here too. Oh, he came off. You're kidding. No, he's on. He's on. <laughs> he can't. That's a different, dude, that's got to be a different fish. Are you kidding me? Dude, that fish looks so much bigger when he blew up. I don't know. That is weird. Because I... Because I started reeling again, I felt my chatterbait chattering, which normally means the fish is off. And then this one came. I I don't know what just happened there. Topwater chatterbait bite is on. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Somehow a perfect hook set on that one. I have no clue how that even happened. Golly. That is crazy, bro. All the fish out here are super healthy. Cool colors on them, too. I will take it on the chatterbait. See you, bud. Dude, that was, that was probably the most fun chatterbait bite I've had in my whole entire life. We're about to try to do it again. You ready for this? What's that, a chatterbait on top? Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> another top water chatterbait bite, guys. Oh my gosh, I called it. Also one just hit top water like right over there. So if you're trying to like throw and catch that one and we had a double up, that'd be super dope. Dude, what the heck? They fight so hard out here. That's a good one, too. Get over here, boy. <laughs> Look at that. You don't even need to be eating anymore, guy. You need to be uh, on that Weight Watchers plan, man. 
Holy cow. Folks, we're gonna give this one a weigh really quick just for the heck of it. Just so you guys can see how much these fish weigh that we're catching out here. Because I know the GoPro does make them look a little bit smaller and sometimes a little bit bigger depending on the angle. Boom, there we go. Two pounds, five ounces. That's a solid fish right there. Oh, same so Oh my gosh. Dude, the same spot the topwater bite is on without topwater lures throwing bottom baits. We're catching them on top. This is crazy. See ya, bud. Oh, that was sick. Well, the trailer held up this time, which is uh, which is good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the one dangerous cast you're making there. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. That was a big swirl, too. Is that a That is a fish. And I'm a big, dumb idiot, dude, and I set the hook with slack line. Oh, my gosh. That was, like, out in the middle, too. Like, that was deep. I was just sitting here hopping the chatterbait, guys. Uh, not even like swimming it just barely bringing it along to the bottom and i just see my line kind of going off to one side i'm like hmm <laughs> atta boy see a squeaky yeah a no shake him off <laughs> oh he's not too bad he thick though nice dude football season oh nice is he pulling <laughs> Dude, he is running for it. He is ha there's dude that has got to be like a freaking twenty pounder. Oh, oh my gosh! I was not ready for that. Dude, that is that's got to be a. T <laughs> Holy cow! Nah, he's not that big. Are you sure? I mean, he's probably. Dude, you were fighting that thing. Oh my oh! gosh! That is a freaking tank, dude. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Here, careful, oh. careful with him. <laughs> dude, that might be your PV for real. Get out of that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll grab him. Oh my. Okay, he's still here. Oh, you scare me. That is a tank. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is a football. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, we got to get a weight on that. Yeah, I'll go grab your scale real All quick. Right. If you, I don't want to be responsible. That is a Mondo, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It is a very rare occurrence on the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel that we catch a big bass and have a scale at the same time. <laughs> like this might be a first. <laughs> what, what were we saying? Ooh, uh, I'm saying six and a half. I was gonna say 6'11". Six 6'11", 11. Six 11, okay. Oh, seven eight. Seven See, eight. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say seven, but I didn't want to look dumb on camera. Oh my god, dude, a seven pound eight ouncer. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go on the Magnum Speedworm too. All right, let's get the release on this big boy. And off she goes, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Bro. He was running, so you hooked him over there. And he ran all the way out, like past the middle of the lake. And you're like, oh no, he's not that big. And the fish do fight super hard out here. Like the two pounders fight like eight pounders. But I was like, dude, this thing is taking you for a walk. If that thing's a pound, I was going to be disappointed. <laughs> but congratulations on catching oh, a seven pound, eight pound bass. That is, it's quite the accomplishment good here. Good day, good day. All right, so show them the worm you caught that big one on real quick, because I'm sure people are interested. All right, I'm just using a uh, watermelon red Magnum Speed Worm. You can get him at Walmart. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>